Hey guys, Don here with TroTech Laser Canada. In this video, we will see the effects on materials when they are processed both in and out of focus. We're going to be using anodized aluminum for our material and comparing the results with a 1.5 inch and 2.5 inch lens. It's important to note that engraving quality will always be subjective, which means that being perfectly in focus doesn't necessarily mean showing the best results. Some people may prefer a smoother engraving, while others want a sharp, crisp outcome. A lot of it also depends on the material you'll be using. For example, in our out of focus technique video, we show that going out of focus can result in a darker black mark when engraving on lamicoid plastic sheets. We've engraved 11 pieces using the same graphic. The first two pieces were engraved with both our 1.5 and 2.5 inch lenses in focus, which you can see here. For the 1.5 inch lens, we alter the z-axis offset that is drop or raise our engraving table in steps of 0.5 millimeters until we are 2.5 millimeters out of focus in either direction. For the 2.5 inch lens, we change the z-axis offset in steps of 1 millimeter to a total of 5 millimeters out of focus in either direction. The minus side, which you can see here, is closer to the lens, while the plus side is further away from the lens. So if we compare the two pieces that are in focus, we have these results. We can see a clear indication that the 1.5 inch lens is producing a clear and defined engraving. This is particularly visible in the area here where we have the smaller details. The overall engraving on the 2.5 inch lens looks also very good, but it's slightly bolder. This is to be expected since the 2.5 inch lens has a 70% larger spot size than the 1.5 inch lens. Let's do an in-depth comparison with both lenses. Here we can see the results using the 1.5 inch lens. The picture on the left shows an in-focus piece, while the right shows a 1.5mm out of focus. This is the maximum distance away from the focal point, but still within the depth of focus. With the larger text here, there's not really much of a difference. If we look at the 8 here, we can see that there is a slight difference, but not much. However, if we move down to the smaller text, let's take the number 4 here, we can see that we have lost a bit of detail. Here at the bottom, for example, and here. The similarity is quite good, bearing in mind that the dimension of the number 4 here is 0.48mm by 0.63mm. If we bring up the sample that is 2.5mm out of focus, meaning we are now outside the depth of focus, there is a clear distinction between the two. We can see that we have lost a lot of detail coming this far out of focus. Even if we move up to the number 8 here, we can see that details are vague when we are engraving outside the depth of focus. So the conclusion for the 1.5 inch lens is that you should be able to engrave a good quality 4 point text on anodized aluminum using the standard settings. This is assuming that the optics and mechanics are all good and that the machine is properly calibrated. If the material is outside the depth of focus, we can see a clear drop in quality with a loss of power or intensity and detail. Let's move on to the 2.5 inch lens. The picture on the left is in focus and the one on the right is 2 millimeters out of focus. This is nearly the maximum distance away from the focal point, but we are still within the depth of focus. With the larger text, there is not much difference. If we look at the 8, we can see that there is a slight difference, but not much. Now if we move down to the smaller text, let's take the same number 4 here, we can see that we have lost a bit of detail, here at the bottom for example, or here. Now if we bring up the sample that is 5mm out of focus, meaning we are now outside the depth of focus, there is a clear distinction between the two. We can see that we have lost a lot of detail. Even if we move up to the 8, we can see that the details are very vague when we come outside the depth of focus, which is now nearly 3mm. 
So the conclusion for the 2.5 inch lens is that you should be able to engrave a good quality 6 or even 5 point text on anodized aluminum and using the standard settings. This is of course with the assumption that the optics and mechanics are all okay and that the machine is properly calibrated. If the material is outside the depth of focus, we can see a clear drop in quality with a loss of power or intensity and detail. Sometimes it's difficult to see if what you're engraving is truly out of focus. It could be the case that you don't have enough power, but please be aware that materials can react very differently. On anodized aluminum, you are vaporizing the anodization of the material, in contrast for example with plastics where you have a melting process occurring. This means that if you use too much power, the engraving may blur things out, or if you don't use enough power, it may not penetrate the surface properly and it may look like you are out of focus. Understanding the parameters in job control, experience with different materials, and the use of the different lenses are rather important to be able to quickly determine whether you are in or out of focus. You can watch this next video to show where out of focus methods help give you a blacker engraving on lamicoid plastics. Thank you for watching, and we hope to see you next time.